Welcome to video from the digitallifestyle.com. This video we're going to look at what's new in the January 2022 update for the Surface Duo 2. We've recently had Android 11 for the Surface Duo. I've got a separate video on that, but this is the Duo 2. Actually quite a good update this month as well. Uh, so there's a few things worth talking about. So if you've got a Surface Slim Pen 2, I've got the original Surface Pen. But there's extra settings in here for... Um, actions that you take with the slim pen too with the buttons so there's those extra settings i think so you can do things like double tap to take a photo or open one note all that kind of thing um i use the pen for notes but not so much for I, the single the top button actually still does work on this and i can get it to open applications but there's a few more options if you've got the surface slim pen too so one interesting uh, feature if you're a your phone user with uh, the surface duo 2 is that you can now run individual apps on your Windows PC rather than just doing screen mirroring Android apps I'm talking about as well so I'll show you that and it's, I'll switch to the other screen and I'll show you that in a second let's go through some of the other changes as well you've got the Android security updates from uh, January 2022 uh, Microsoft say it improves camera usability uh, with night mode, 4K video recording and autofocus I, I really like the camera on this I found it to be nice and quick uh, I like the dual screen mode with the camera as well so you get your previews and everything else so i haven't really noticed an issue so i'm going to try doing a few 4k videos and i'll try the night mode and see if it makes a difference but i haven't really had any complaints with it so it's good to see some improvements uh, they've improved re reliability on third-party chargers i use one of those magnetic uh, type charging cables i've had no issues with the charging to be honest but uh, it's good to see that they've done that they improved uh, system uh, reliability and stability and the touch response. Uh, the touch response, I noticed this before the update actually, that um, for a while when you had a, an application open on both screens and you closed it off like that, it kind of flashed to black and then the screen came back on. It stopped doing that probably sometime last week I think, so there must have been a, a launch update that fixed that. So, But they've said they've improved the touch response and, and again with the Duo 2 I haven't really noticed any problems with it. So I'm still loving the Duo 2, using it all the time, it's my main device, it's got a good camera on it, it's got NFC, it's got everything I need on it, um, um, so I really like using this. So uh, these updates and, new, and changes are really good for the Surface Duo. So I'll switch over now and we'll have a look at how you can run Android apps on your PC using the Surface Duo. Okay, so I've found up the Your Phone app which is connected to uh, my Surface Duo 2. Now previously here you had phone screen, so that would just mirror the phone screen. That's moved to here now, so if I open that up on there, so there you see I've got my phone screen mirrored and I can do uh, everything that you'd expect. That's what we had previously with the Surface uh, Duo, it just mirrored the screen. What Samsung phones has, and now the Duo 2, is the ability to actually run apps separately. So I can load any of these apps that are on the on the phone, so running Android, and it runs here as though it, it's a Windows app, but it's actually running. So this is not like an Android system on this PC. This is an the Android app is running on my phone, but you can just run them like I'm doing here as a Windowed app, and you can actually I've added someone's favourites, but I could actually pin these to my start menu if I wanted to. So there's the Sanos app. And I pin that and just run that. So it's just like having the, the apps installed but your phone has to be on the same uh, Wi-Fi network at the same time. So uh, your phone and your PC are sharing the same Wi-Fi and then you can pin them and run them on there. But um, I found it works really well you just open the apps like that and um, this this works fine. It's asking me to sign in. I can touch the fingerprint reader on the phone, physical phone and it'll sign me in like that as well. So it's a really good way of, of running Android apps on your PC if you don't want to go through installing subsystems and things like that, which is a bit complicated at the moment. So I'm, I'm really glad that Microsoft have added that feature back into... Uh, or added that feature for Surface Duo 2 users because that's something Samsung users have had for a while. So you can pin them to the taskbar, you can pin them uh, to start as you've seen. The, you can have multiple ones open at the same time. So there's no problem uh, having multiple apps open. You can't use your phone while you're doing this because it just says linked to PC at the moment. But um, yeah, it works really well. So it's a really nice um, 
upgrade that for Surface Duo 2 users. So that's it for the changes with the Surface Duo for the January 2020 update. Pretty good month for Microsoft. They've updated the original Surface Duo to Android 11 as well. Many of these features are, are the same. So um, it's good to see that they're now almost the same, these two devices. I think the earphone changes are great as well. So thanks for watching this video. You can find out more on thedigitallifestyle.com.